Hi guys, I'm back with another video. I'm Keisha at the Enchanted Dreamcatcher and thanks so much for tuning into my channel. I post new videos twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday and if you're new here my channel is everything witchy, magic, beauty and a little bit of in between. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I'm actually doing a tag video. I've not done a tag video in like forever. And also as well, like I'm so disappointed. Like I put lights, like um, fairy lights, um, butterfly ones there. because so I thought it would pick up really cool my video, but you can't really see them. So that sucks. Uh, yeah. I'm really not impressed with that like I'm so disappointed right let me turn one of the lights off how are we going with that you can see them a little bit better uh, a little better better what should I do should I turn the other light off or yeah, I'm gonna try it. How are we feeling about this? It's dark. It's a bit dark, isn't it? See, I just don't think you can see them. It's, I know it's like a white chest of drawers, which probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. But. Damn it. I'm so annoyed. There we go. We needed a little bit of light. I can't be bored to get up again and turn on my other light. But anyway, back to the video. So I'm doing a tag video today and I absolutely love tag videos. I find them so fun and from time to time I do do them on my channel but I haven't done one for a while. So this tag video I'm doing is the get to know. I've seen... I think it's the same tab as get to know get to know your witches tag or I've seen it as well labeled as get to know your witch tag so I think it's just the same I think just I guess just some people use witch and other people use witches for it but so you shall see me on my little phone as I have a look but there is 15 questions so let's get on as we don't want to make this video like stupidly long so, first question. Does your sun sign, so that's obviously your zodiac sign, portray you correctly? If not, do your other planetary signs? I am a Sagittarius, so and I so Sagittarius for those of you that aren't don't really clued up or whatever, is from November twenty sixth second to december 21st i believe and i was born on december 16th so i'm sort of towards the end of the sagittarius sign i'm nothing like my star sign it's really well like my zodiac sign is really really strange as everyone i know or people i know at least a little bit like their star sign i'm nothing like sagittarius i mean i was born two weeks late so I should have been born on the 5th of December, but I still would have been in the Sagittarius. And I'm just literally nothing like Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a fire sign. Um, wildly independent. Well, I am independent, but uh, impulsive. I'm really not impulsive. I'm complete opposite. Um, a traveller. Uh, restless. Um, just sort of have this wild, uncontainable energy. And I'm just so not like it is really strange i'll probably say the the star sign or one of the star signs i'm most like is a water sign so i'm probably more um i'd say i'm more sort of see myself as more of a, a cancer sign a cancerian sign so that's like june sort of like end of june so it's like six months before my birthday so but I really need to do a, I'd love to get my chart done properly. I need to find out what my moon sign is and, um, or my sort of, uh, uh, basically my birth chart, what all different planets are when I was born and all that. I need to do, I need to do that. I will do that. 
and that was a really rambly answer to say no I'm nothing like my star sign so what, number two what songs bring you the most magical vibes I'd probably say uh, for I really I'm such a big fan of country music I get a really really good buzz off of that but if we're going for a witchy song let me find really quick I shouldn't do this while I'm on video I should have been prepared for this uh, let me find it really quickly um um, 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 I'm play something for you. Oh, I can't find it. I'm trying to type quickly and it's just not happening. Okay, let's... Let's play it. For those of you that watched Salem, the theme tune for Salem, that was actually by Marilyn Manson, Cupid Carries a Gun. This song I feel is like really witchy. Pound me the witch drums, the witch drums, pound me the witch drums. Tell me the witch drums. But yeah, so that song actually, I mean, I loved this season, the series Salem anyway. I did, it's a, um, on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, and it is a really awesome, it's three seasons and I loved it. But yeah, so that song I just find like, I don't know, I just get like real magic vibes off that song. So I love that song. Uh, so number three. Which of your deities, guides, or ancestors is most sarcastic with you? If this doesn't apply to you, which of your tarot oracle deck is? Dex is or are, whatever. Wow, that's, uh, yeah, I feel like that question, I feel like I didn't really have, like, the deities and things that I work with, I feel like aren't really sarcastic with me, really. Sometimes I feel like, my guides are sort of like come on now like sometimes when I'm trying to think about whether to do something or not like I'm trying to make a decision or something and I can sort of feel like in the back of the mind like come on now like really so I don't know you could maybe take that as sarcastic I don't know so number four biggest witchy mess up or misinterpretation um I'm assuming that I don't know how to I'm assuming that's from like a personal level, I guess. Like, I probably I'm trying to think. I don't think I've had any really big witchy mess ups. Back when I was first practicing, when I was like thirteen, I think or twelve, thirteen. I um, when I'd got like an altar cloth and stuff and lit candles, cause I had my altar on my sh like a bookshelf above my bed or like to the side of my bed. I like burnt my. I had. I have um. A shelf that's high up and I'll do another altar video but if you look back on my channel you would have seen it bookshelf and then another one underneath and I put my altar underneath that and I have from the other shelf I have like different sort of witchy things hanging and I know before and I've had candles I've like burnt things like that have been hanging like it's like little holes and stuff because yeah because I didn't really think about the smoke like going up and I burnt altar cloth before haven't set anything on fire I'm not I don't know, I've actually not like knocked anything over or anything like super super drastic so so far touch wood I've been pretty blessed on that and that thing uh so number five would you write a book on your craft of spirituality why if you already have what were challenges in doing so oh my god yes I am in the process I have been the sort of last couple of years I have an outline and I sort of started working on the first few chapters of why writing a witchy book I was sort of going one direction with it as more sort of like an introductory type thing 
but I don't know if that now has been overdone so I'm sort of thinking maybe I should sort of change course on that so I don't I don't really know but I am definitely I'm hoping within the next possibly next year probably towards the end of next year I'm hoping fingers crossed to have it all ready and out to birth it into the world and obviously you know the time as I get further along and stuff I already have a title and or know I have the names of all my chapters and have an outline and all that sort of stuff I will as time comes on or goes on I'll sort of like announce different things so yeah I'll watch this space uh number seven if you were a ghost what place would you haunt I would probably be such a basic bitch and just like haunt like go to Salem haunt be like a ghost in Salem or the streets of New Orleans or something like super basic <laughs> and number eight 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 yes what is the funniest way someone has reacted to finding out you were a witch um the, the ways that I've had people find, react when they find out is although I'm not I never really openly be like hey i'm a witch or whatever but people that know me and follow me can know like just know but i've had sort of people sort of laugh really and sort of be like really you believe in that and just sort of like i've had people be a bit disrespectful before but i've never it's never really been never really had a stereotypical funny sort of thing and my dad's wife's like um christian and she's like really like goes to church every sunday and stuff and she's like you know those wiccans they're witches and they're evil and i'm just like she's like you're not really one of those i was like she's like i'm praying for you to come over to the light and i was just like i'm nothing wrong with me <laughs> but yeah that's probably the funniest i would probably say number nine do you have any superstitions Mm, probably I worry about uh, I don't really have super so maybe jinxing myself so I do always like knock on wood when I'm gonna say something I don't want to jinx myself um I don't have any superstitions like things like crossing on stairs or throwing spilt salt over left shoulder or anything mm, no I don't really no I don't really have any superstitions really 10 if you could possess any fantasy magic what would your power be uh, i always wanted to be like prue and charmed where i had the power to move things like with my mind and astral project i thought that was awesome i'd always, i'd love to astral project so yeah probably yeah probably like something like that would be pretty awesome uh number 11 what is something random on your altar Mm, random I don't really have anything random I think more because I'm eclectic as well so and I'm um fairy wiccan I feel like I don't really have anything random as I feel like everything kooky and just sort of fits if that makes sense uh da, 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 da. number 12 if one of the YouTubers you watched was a genie and they could grant you three wishes within their power, who would it be and what would the wishes what and what wishes can't be for more wishes? So um 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 <laughs> I would probably if we're going for a witchy YouTuber, I would probably have Mandy C my friend Mandy C or Harmony Nice as a genie as a genie and the three wishes i would have one to be i don't know i don't know why am i, <sighs> why am I drawing a blank um one wish i would want to use for the world to sort of like um world peace and like an end to conflict and war and things like that another wish i would wish for the ha ha health and happiness of my family and friends 
And then the third wish I would probably use for me to be happy and successful in what I want to do. So, oh, I knocked my camera there. So, number 13. If you could instantly become an expert in any part of your craft slash spirituality, what would it be? Um, I'd love to be an expert. I would probably say maybe tarot. As I can do tarot. And I do enjoy it. I have a bit more of affinity with oracle cards. But yeah, I probably love to be like a super duper expert. That would be really pretty awesome. And um, number 14, when you die, what do you think will happen to you and your soul? I like to think that when I die, that I, though death completely, utterly terrifies me. I'd like to think that I would go to about it i'd go to summerland and there i would await to be reincarnated in another life i like to think i'll be reborn as a another human to carry on learning and spreading my soul's message so last question number five oh this is a good one where do you see yourself spiritually in the next five years Spiritually, in the next five years, I want to have released my book and I want that to be a success. I want to be writing another book. I want to be or have or have released an oracle deck and some other sort of different bits of merchandise and stuff. I want my, sh uh, my shop to be up and running and successful. So I want to have a little boutique, like a witchy boutique. I would like to have my book of shadows or cause literally I always feel like I'm always chopping and changing my book of shadows but I want that all complete and done and that it. I would love to be, I would just love to be completely content in my path and my craft and just be the best witch that I can be and spread my message and help people and just be be a super duper happy witch i suppose but yeah so that's the end of the questions i tag anybody that's watching this and i tag mandy c i'm not sure if she's done this tag or not yet i don't think she has so i tag her and I tag any of you guys watching this. And if you guys do do um, do do this, get to know your witches tag. Put the link to your video below as I would love to watch it. And if you have any questions or suggestions or things like that, I'd love to hear them. So until next time, keep dreaming and stay enchanted. Mwah.